Once again, if you own a 75 to 95 Mercedes-Benz, I guarantee that you're going to have to be faced with doing a brake fluid flush of the system. In my experience, this is one of the most neglected maintenance items I see on these old cars. I see brake fluid in these cars that probably been in there for 10 to 20 years. This is something that needs to be done every two years, both from a safety standpoint and for, from a reliability standpoint. Your brake calipers and hoses will last a lot longer if you flush that old fluid out. And once again, brake fluid tends to absorb moisture. So over time, if you don't change the fluid, it affects your braking capabilities. It also will cause the calipers to rust and you'll be into expensive brake repairs. Now, this is something you can do yourself and I recommend you do it yourself because you'll get it done right. And I love to do pressure brake bleeding. Now, contrary to what you may have heard on the internet, do not pump bleed these old cars. Do not use the old pump method to flush the fluid through the system. The reason is the master cylinders on these cars are old and the seals are old. And if you start pumping like crazy all the way back and forth in a, in a you know, position that these pedals have never traveled before, you're gonna damage the seals and you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna have to replace an expensive master cylinder. So I believe that pressure bleeding is the only way to go. We offer a really unique kit on my website, a special pressure bleeder that we make here from a sprayer that you see here. It has the pressure gauge and a special pressure release. We also make these capture tanks. <laughs> and these, between the pressure bleeding and the capture tanks, it really sp speeds up a bleeding process and keeps it much cleaner. Let me show you, I've already done it on this 240D here, but let me show you just a, a couple quick scenes of how we do this process. Here's the way I use my brake fluid capture tanks. If you have two of them, you can hook them up both to the rear wheels and really speed the flushing process, particularly if you have an old car and you need to move a lot of fluid through it. So we've got both of these hooked up and we're using the pressure bleeder up front. Notice the hook we supply with this capture tank. You can hang it from underneath the car and now you can see the fluid moving into that small chamber as we're using a wrench over at the caliper to release brake fluid and watch it flow right into this capture tank and you'll be able to see when it starts running clean. I'll keep checking back at the, the pressure tank to make sure it's holding pressure. Also, you don't wanna let it run on fuel. I'll just put air back into the system. So, so far it's moving just fine into the master cylinder reservoir and we're almost done. We can actually finish this job with this pressure bleeder and two capture tanks in less than 20 minutes. I think for this one, it took us about 15 minutes when we were done. Of course, we had the advantage of a lift. So, okay, maybe we are cheating a little bit. But as a final note, you wanna you know, go ahead and remove the pressure bleeder cap and double check, make sure the reservoir is at the fill line and then replace the original cap back on here and tighten it down. You can see, you can see how clean the fluid is in there and you should have seen it before I started. So I highly recommend that you do this job. If you don't do it, at least get it done every two years because it is an extremely important maintenance item on these older Mercedes-Benz as well as any other car out there.